Welcome to the SCFD training video for the Seek Thermal Reveal Fire Pro Thermal Imaging Camera. Today we're just going to be going over some of the basic features of the camera as well as showing you a live fire demonstration. As you can see here, the Seek Thermal Fire Pro presents with a 3 inch Gorilla Glass display screen. It has three toggle switches on the front, one toggle switch on the side, as well as your camera lens and your 300 lumen uh, three mode flashlight. It also comes with a carabiner as well as a retractable device for easy hanging off of one's turnout gear. Now we'll go through the different buttons and modes on how to operate. So in front here you'll see the three different buttons. Your biggest button in the center here is going to be your on off button. Just press and hold for it to turn on and you will see a welcome screen. A few short seconds later and you'll start to see the imaging camera come up. The button on the left is going to be your modes button. Now, the Seek Thermal Pro uh, boasts three different modes. You have your color mode, your survey mode, and your fire mode. Now, the thermal imaging camera can detect from up to 12 inches all the way up to 1,800 feet. It has a 32 degree field of view, and it can do temperature ranges from negative four degrees up to 1,022 degrees. Now, these different modes between the survey mode and the uh, fire mode will detect different temperature ranges and have different colors associated with those temperature ranges. Your right button right here is going to be your screenshot button. Now this TIC camera has four gigabytes of internal memory. It also has a small USB port on the bottom. So after a fire, if you capture some screenshots that you want to use for your uh, report or to give to incident command, um, you can plug this into any computer with a USB drive and you can extract those photos um, from the TIC camera. To screenshot, you need to press and hold the right button uh, and wait for a white border to come up and it will flash as if it's taking a picture and that'll let you know that you got your screenshot. The 300 lumen flashlight on the front has three different modes and you can toggle through these modes simply by pressing the flashlight button on the side. There is a high mode, a low mode, and then a flash mode. Now we're going to take a quick look at the three different modes that the Seek Fire Pro TIC uh, offers. And then we're going to do a live fire demonstration for you guys to show um, some actual fire and smoke uh, and what it looks like on the screen. So as you can see here, this is the color mode. This is the first mode that you'll come upon. And it has temp uh, colors ranging from black to white. A temperature closer to this end of the spectrum is going to be colder, whereas temperatures up here are going to be warmer. As you can see, we're pointing the camera towards the cab of the engine, which was just run. You can see the areas of the engine which are hotter and range from red to white, as well as temperatures and areas that are colder, which range from blue to black. You'll see a small crosshairs in the middle of the screen, and that's going to be the point at which the temperature is reading. Here you'll see the temperature read as well as your battery life. Now, the Seek Thermal Reveal Fire Pro when fully charged can last up to three and a half hours. It can be charged using the USB port down here. If you do not see the small crosshairs and temperature gauge, all you need to do is simply click the middle button, the on off button once, and that will show you which mode you are in as well as the temperature readings. Toggling to the next mode, you'll see your survey mode. Up here, you can see the specific temperature ranges for your survey mode, which ranges from about 149 degrees Fahrenheit to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. This mode would be good for size ups, low temperature fires, just getting a quick reading on something. Next, you'll see your fire mode. Fire mode has the highest temperature range. It ranges from 302 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. The end of this spectrum is gray and black and it will not start showing color until it reaches that 302 degree Fahrenheit mark. This mode, fire mode, would be good for interior attack. So that was the basic operations of the new Seek Thermal Reveal Fire Pro TIC camera. We'll now go to a live fire demonstration where we burn drip torch fuel and we are able to show you guys the differences in the color ranges and temperatures that the three different modes will read.